when I started to implement network policies, it was Project Calico. And then I found Cilium as one of the uh, modern CNIs. So, so tell us about you know uh, the differentiating factor of Cilium, particularly when compared to other CNI implementations like Project Calico. Mm, yeah, so in many ways, they have a lot of similarities. The main difference between Cilium and Calico is that Cilium was built from eBPF right from the get-go. So Calico started with a, an IP tables-based implementation and then sort of moved to, to eBPF kind of more, more recently. I, you know, there's probably, you know, some, some features that are available in one and not available in the other. And, and you know, I would definitely recommend people to go and, and you know, check out exactly what features they want. Cilium is now part of the CNCF, so it is a community resource. You know, it's it's owned by a neutral foundation rather than by one specific uh, vendor, which I think gives a lot of uh, organizations confidence. You know, and it's in the same foundation as Kubernetes, which uh, seems like a very natural home for it. Uh, yeah, and I I think the the adoption probably speaks for itself. I mean, we've certainly seen an extent in, in the use of Cilium, particularly since, um, you know, maybe the last two or three years since pretty much every Linux distribution now supports eBPF. And that means pretty much everyone can now run Cilium and, and that caused a huge uptick in, in adoption. So, yeah, I mean, th th there's, I think Cilium, you know, really developed hand in hand with with eBPF. It was something that I hadn't really realized before I joined Isovalent, the extent to which the folks working on Cilium, there's there's a good number of folks who are also working on eBPF in the kernel. So the networking capabilities that we have in eBPF have a, in large part been driven by feature ideas for Cilium. You know, if we want to do a certain thing in Cilium, we're going to need this kind of support in the underlying eBPF platform. And, and it's um, ISO Venet engineers essentially who have done that work to add that to the kernel and then build the Cilium features on top. So I, I think that's, that sort of speaks very much to the kind of the talent and the eBPF knowledge that I have the privilege to work with. It's, it's really great. <laughs>